In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stream inertial measurement sensor data from your Android device into Unreal Engine. Now I'll just assume you installed Unreal Engine 4 already. So first, create a new project, select project category as games, and select blank template, and there is nothing to change in project settings, default settings are just fine, and I'll call this project as Sample IMU. Now click the Create Project button. After project is created, let's download the Unreal plugin to receive inertial measurement unit data. Now access github.com and search the repository with the keyword HyperIMU. And from the search results, find and click the HyperIMU listener UE4 plugin. On the right side of the page, you can see releases file, so go ahead and download the latest release. Release file is a compressed zip file, and you should place it and extract it in the project plugins folder, which we just created. Open the project window. At the contents tab, right click on any folder, and select show in explorer. Then you can open the project folder easily. Now go to the project root folder. The name of the root folder will be same as the project's name. And in that root folder, make a new folder and name it as plugins. Now place the plugins zip file in the plugins folder and extract it here. And you should be very careful with the path. If a hyper-IMU listener folder contains another hyper-IMU listener folder, plugin code will fail to locate the necessary files. Now close the project and reopen it to make the project detect the plugin on reload. Open the level blueprint, make an event node begin play, and find the node load DLL. It's under category named HyperIMU. Default port number for socket communication is 5471, and I'll just leave it as that. This function will initialize the UDP data receiving process. Now you would want more than just receiving data. You would also want to apply them on something. So create a tick event node. This event will fire at every frame while the game is active. Go back to the scene view. Click one chair. Change transform mobility setting from static to movable. If you open the level blueprint with the chair selected, you can get a reference of that chair. So draw out a set rotation function from this chair reference. Now right click on empty area to find get latest orientation Euler node from hyperimu blueprint function. Connect that value to change orientation of the chair. Then we are done with the receiving end of streaming. But there is one last thing before we start streaming from Android device. Open the command line console, type ipconfig, and remember the IP address of your computer. Now pick up your phone and download the HyperIMU application from Play Store. And while you are downloading it, take some time to appreciate the developer's hard work put into building this generous ad-free app. After the download is done, open the HyperIMU, allow whatever it says to allow, click the top left menu, go to settings, and at the server IP address, type the address of your computer that we've just found in our command line console. And in case you are using modem for your internet connection, Make sure that your smartphone is sharing the same Wi-Fi with your computer. When you are done with that, you should also configure other settings as well, so configure them as following.
Now we are almost at the end. Open the menu tab again, access the packet preview, and activate following five sensors. When you are done with that, packet preview should look just like this, and you should only activate these five sensors. Now go back to main page, click the green dot in the middle, then it will start streaming sensor data into your computer. Now if we start the game, So look, we now have a rotating chair. So some of you might be wondering, uh, okay, this is cool, but I don't get how this is gonna help me with making a video game. But don't worry, I'll cover that up in later tutorials. And here are some things I should make clear before ending this video. I'm making this tutorial because I personally believe physical sensors like IMU are going to play a significant role in the next generation of video game. And I just wanted to test its potential and share it with others. But this plugin I just introduced is only a temporary solution for those people who don't have IMU sensors on their hands. So I recommend you to use this plugin for only testing or prototyping because it is not designed for a long-term project. This plugin and dynamic linking library concerning Hyper IMU are open source projects. So if you are interested in attributing, your effort will be very much appreciated. Okay, so see you guys around. And I once again thank you, the developer of Hyper IMU.